Call to action. Help Nigerian imprisoned atheist Mubarak Bala. Uh, many members of the Atheist Republic community have asked about what they can do to support Mubarak Bala, the Nigerian atheist activist recently sentenced to 24 years in prison for blasphemy against the Prophet Muhammad. Humanist International has written an open letter to Kano State Governor uh, Abdullahi Umar uh, Gandu Ganduje regarding the unjust conviction and sentencing of Bala, and they are welcoming everyone to add their signature to show support and garner more attention. Bala was initially arrested in April of 2020 over Facebook posts deemed blasphemous. James Ibor, or Ibor, Bala's lawyer, confirmed that Bala has been denied access to medical care, kept in solitary confinement, and, quote, forced to worship the Islamic way since he's been imprisoned. The open, led, the open letter urges the Nigerian government to quash his conviction and immediately and unconditionally release Bala. You can add your signature to the open letter, and I'll put that in the live chat in a second. Humanist International is also encouraging supporters of Bala to send virtual or physical letters to Bala's family to lend international moral support to them during this difficult time. If you would like to share your support directly with Mubarak and his family, you can find all the information in the link that I am about to post. Um, so let me get this ready. Um, uh, AGA is saying, done. <laughs> Nailed it. Um, okay. All right. So, so can I... When I was reading this, when I was uh, originally, when I read the sentencing i thought like oh my god they're sending him to prison over this for 24 months i was like two years of his life gone and then i looked at it i was like wait it doesn't say 24 months this is 24 years 24 years 24 years over what over posting his opinions about something online. Mm -hmm. It wasn't even that harsh. It wasn't even that aggressive. 24 years, these people have lost their mind. Um, if you, in the show notes, I um, posted where you can show where it is on the Humanist International website, which would be a huge help. Thank you. This one? Okay, now the link is working on the live chat um so yes here on uh humanist international if you go to humanist.international slash 2022 slash 04 slash free dash mubarak slash i'm not going to read the whole url <laughs> i posted the link below and it'll be in the show notes when we cut the clip um but and you can also just find this on their website but you can find in read for yourself this open letter that they have addressed to the governor of kano state which is the state where bala is currently imprisoned and you can read through their explanation of why this is unjust um and their explicit demands from the government and what they're looking for so i wanted to highlight this because like i said a lot of people in the atheist republic community when we talk about um Mubarak Bala, we know uh, they feel very impassioned and they want to help and they want to get involved. But when you deal with imprisoned atheist activists, you have to be very sensitive about the nature of their case and maybe how us on the outside in the international community, if we're not careful, we can cause more harm than good, um, maybe because of the sensitivities or um, threats to that person's life or their family's life. And so it's important to wait for organizations who are working the most closely with these activists to sh give the lead, right? And that's what I said. I said at the time, I'm going to wait for Humanist International because they're the most closely associated with his case to really take the charge and take the lead on how they would like people to get involved. And I'm following up on that and showing you guys how that we can get involved and how you can support Mubarak and his family in a way that the people most closely involved have deemed as safe and um, uh, ready for the public to get involved in. And so I would encourage you guys to sign this open letter. It takes 30 seconds. You just put your name and your email 
or um if you would like wait i think i is this the right link let me double check something sorry um ah no it wasn't the right link i'm glad i checked i will also post the link where you can send him your own um uh personal letter to mubarak as well wait shoot where did it go this is so weird okay i'm gonna read um aj's comment aj is saying he ple he pleaded guilty to protect his family yeah because i think he was getting threats to his family he like he was like his lawyers would have defended him but he i think he just like he's just like eh, screw it and he just pleaded guilty so he's going to jail he didn't even f fight this just so that he could stop the abuse mm -hmm. i mean that's what and it seems like we don't know for sure there have been reports from activists who are very close to him and familiar with his case um that say that the pressure from all the threats that he was facing and the threats against his his family um mm. was too much for him and then just against the advice of his lawyers he just sort of stood up and it's like i plead guilty um possibly expecting lighter sentencing um because oftentimes when you do plead guilty they give you they cut you a break um but no they they gave him full 24 which is far and above what other people who have faced blasphemy charges in Nigeria have faced. Um, partially also, you know, kind of punishing him for his, his atheism. And um, yeah, it, it just really shocked everyone that, that was involved. And he spent two years in prison leading up to this case and this hearing and this sentencing. That those two years that he that he was legally detained in prison do not count towards the twenty four years that he was sentenced. Wow, to. why? Usually they do count. These people. Oh my god. Yeah. So he's going to jail for twenty six years, not twenty four years. Um, yeah. unbelievable. Um. D. Oh, that's so amazing. D is saying I donated five hundred dollars to his lawyer fund. I am so uh disappointed. That was all the stimulus payments that I received. Oh well, I'm sorry that you feel so disappointed by that, D. I do know that that definitely went to good use. And well, it didn't although, work though. Well, no, they're not over. Like they're still fighting this as much as they can. And oh. Humanist International is looking for other avenues to fight for Mubarak's freedom. Um, so I also posted the link. If you want to write a um, letter directly to Mubarak, you they give you the email so you can write an email to them if you want, or they also give you information where you can write your own physical handwritten letter that will be delivered to him and his family, which I think would be an amazing way to show support to them. And um, it's really important that the international atheist community, that we stand up for each other and that we rally behind each other because we're small and other people are not going to do it for us. So we have to be there for each other. Right. Thank you for a highlight for keeping at this story, Sus. I'm bringing up. Of course. This yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.